Avery Johnson brings in Alabama on Saturday at 2 o'clock for a matchup against the Cats. And now for a look at the Tide. Here's Opposition Research, brought to you by HKC Roofing. Aided by high-flying Dante Hall's 20 points, the Tide got past LSU on Tuesday and now, like the Cats, have 17 wins. The 15-point Bama victory was headlined by 55% field goal shooting, balance scoring, and lockdown D on top Tiger Tremont Waters, who finished with 5 points on 2 of 12 shooting. With the win, Bama clings to the final double by in the three-week out SEC tournament. That due to a win in Gainesville, one of the quintet of top-tier Alabama wins, joining Tuscaloosa bestings of Auburn, Tennessee, and non-league affairs with Oklahoma and Rhode Island. The Tide have also been hard to figure at times with head-scratching droppings to Vanderbilt, Georgia, and Ole Miss, a trio of the worst teams in the league. As of this writing, Alabama has a 34 RPI and is slated for a 7 seed per Joe Lenardi. While Coach of the Year conversation centers around Bruce Pearl, Avery Johnson has significantly upgraded the talent pool in Tuscaloosa and has the tide on the way to their first NCAA since 2012. Johnson's 53 and 37 mark in year three follows a 16 year NBA career highlighted by a 1999 championship with the Spurs. The New Orleans born suited up for seven different franchises and coached a pair, roaming the sidelines for the Mavs and Nets from 05 to 2012. Sprinkled in was a stint as an analyst with ESPN. The Tide's top player is consensus lottery pick Colin Sexton. At 18 a night, the 6'3 freshman is the SEC's third leading scorer and needs just 133 points to break Bama's 27-year freshman scoring record set by Hollywood Robinson. Sexton has exceeded 20 on 10 occasions with a 40-point explosion v Minnesota his personal best. The Mableton Georgia native's card shows 34% from three, 77% at the line, and a Bama best three assists per game. The extremely athletic Dante Hall is Alabama's leading rebounder and shot blocker at 8-2, placed beside an 11-point average. The 6'9 junior matched a season high of 20 on Tuesday and connects on a tied topping 66% from the floor. Hall's productivity coincides with increased minutes and reduced foul issues. Entering the season, the veteran showed eight career DQs. To date this season, nada. Hall labors from the foul line, though, at 58%. Former Wildcat target John Petty is in the midst of an outstanding freshman season and is good for 11 a night. The 6'5 wing has high end potential as evident by a Bama record 10 threes in a game earlier this season. To date, Petty has connected on the fourth most threes of any SEC player, sinking 38% of his attempts. Dazon Ingram has started 62 of 64 career games and post a balanced line of 10 and 6 from the backcourt. The 6'5 sophomore is a physical player and boasts a solid mid-range game. However, his struggles from the perimeter are real as he's dropped just 21% of his threes. The former Bama Mr. Basketball from Theodore High has posted four career double-doubles with a 22-point dropping on Louisiana Tech, his top achievement on the season. Classmate Braxton Key ponies up seven points and five rebounds after leading the Tide in scoring a season ago. The 6'8 sophomore was recognized as one of the SEC's top freshmen in 17, but has been hampered by a nagging knee injury this season, costing him the first 10 games. Key's career docket shows high-end performances with three 20-plus point games, and he reached double figures on Tuesday, his third posting of such in the last four games. Herbert Jones is another freshman factoring in, tallying five points in 23 minutes. Like Petty, the 6'7 freshman was one of Alabama's top high school players last season and has a career-high effort of 14 versus Oklahoma. Jones is one of the Tide's more active defensive players, leading them in both steals and charges taken. The lefty is a liability late at the line, though, laboring at 57%. Two additional Tide will also see ample time, Daniel Giddens, a transfer from Ohio State, and Avery Johnson Jr. The former, a 6'11 sophomore, puts forth five points of tilt on 58% shooting from the floor and foul line, while the coach's son provides backcourt support at the tune of five a game on 80% free throw shooting. Johnson Jr.'s ledger is highlighted by a 23-point breakout last year against South Carolina. Fast facts, the Alabama freshman class has lived up to the hype. The Cats have won the last eight matchups in the series and lead 110 to 37. 
and Bama's last win in a row, January 14, 2006. Famous alums, ESPN's Reese Davis, Academy Award-winning actress Celia Ward, plus former governor and presidential candidate George Wallace. It's the Cats and the Tide on Saturday at 2 o'clock. And for more on this matchup, join the UK Sports Network pregame starting at 1230. For today's opposition research and the Leach Report, I'm Chris Labar.